We are not amused. So much to tell you. That I have run out of time. The sacrifice I made was not enough. The dark gods still feed on our transgressions. Corruption. these demons. Celebrate the fall of the unjust and corrupt governments of old. We honor the arrival of our saviors from the stars who ushered in two decades of peace and prosperity. And we rejoice in the total destruction of the insurgent organization known as XCOM. XCOM lives. Panzer Corps II is the sequel to the acclaimed war game set in World War II, Panzer Corps. Easy to play and at the same time extremely deep, its classic turn-based gameplay style revolves around strategic decisions. In-depth gameplay mechanics model unit movement, combat spotting, encirclements, weather, capturing enemy equipment, and much more. Take command of the Wehrmacht in the branching single-player campaign, covering the entirety of World War II from the German perspective and lasting over 60 scenarios. Recruit any unit type you want and develop your army over time by carrying over your units battle after battle. Choose which scenarios you would like to fight on, and if you play your cards right, you might change history. You can also play on several pre-made scenarios or lead any faction in randomized scenarios, and tweak all your settings to your liking, randomizing your map through the new random map generator. Every major power from the European theater of the Second World War is thoroughly represented, and has a huge unit roster. The total number of unique units in the game is a staggering 1,000. No other strategy game covers as many authentic World War II vehicles as Panzer Corps II. Panzer Corps II offers an enhanced multiplayer experience. It supports up to eight players at the same time. The goal of Panzer Corps II is to be the ultimate Second World War strategy game. Enjoy the time-proven gameplay formula which has been appreciated by millions of players over the years brought to a whole new level of refinement, up to the latest technical standards. 
the king of war games? Can you not see it? The end is near. Oraga is infested with foolish creatures who look at tomorrow as if they will live forever. They do not understand that none will survive unless from ignorance springs curiosity from wilderness surges civilization from barrenness grows exchange from savagery arises bravery as of today I see none who might lead this planet to its salvation. Unless... It all went wrong. It was an ambush. You are left in command now, with what few men remain. We've done it before, and we'll do it again. We'll make the company known throughout the land. As long as there is blood coursing through our veins. As long as we can hold sword and shield in hand, there shall stand the battle, brother! For generations, we have been warriors of the land and for the land. Today, we shape our future and the world around us. We're home, boys. Things ain't what they were. It's time to assert a little planetary dominance. Our revolution starts here. We will reforest to expand and build a lasting peace. We made half the universe our empire. This place should be a breeze. We are hardy, born of battle, vanguard. Those who welcome us may join us on the journey. Screw hearts and minds, guys. It's time for shock and awe. And we've got some beautiful new toys to develop and deploy. We will attack from the shadows or overgrow rivals. We own this place. Let's act like it. Let's make our presence felt. This time it's our turn. Do whatever it takes.
is an enormous amount of space out there in Galactic Civilization 3, but it's hardly empty. Each and every galaxy is full of asteroids, black holes, nebulas, and alien playmates who just want to play laser tag in space. Except for when they want to play missile tag, or cannon tag, or giant supercarriers with waves of fighters tag. There are all these planets out there, each one uniquely generated just for you to colonize, even if sometimes you have to aggressively decolonize it first. What looks like a green rock with naturally occurring clouds of doom gas is really an opportunity to build a teeming green tourist paradise, albeit with intermittent fun storms. There are all these races filling the galaxy, considerately building markets for your trade goods and obtaining alien worlds for your divisions, brigades, and squads of settlers to land on after a friendly round of neutron bombs. There are all these star bases out there, improving commerce, mining deep space resources, and serving as base stations for interstellar missions of colonization, decolonization, recolonization, or whatever your orders may be. There are all these ships out there in the galaxy, all designed in the same tool available to any space emperor. You can stretch, rotate, scale, and animate anything while building the starship of your dreams. You can also do horrible things. We, unfortunately, cannot stop you. The Galactic Civilizations 3 beta is available today. Join the beta through Steam Early Access and get a head start on all the fun storms, aggressive decolonizations, and giant supercarriers with waves of fighters that an infinite number of galaxies can hold.